period for you, especially when you're practicing in clinical work. Sometimes you can make a choice like, okay, I'm going to do it because it's not going to seriously affect the period. But you might sometimes with stimulation, you can cause somebody to bleed more or to not stop bleeding if that is a weakness. Or you might uh, somebody to cause stop bleeding or to cause irregular menstruation or you can uh, eradicate fertility. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with acupuncture when uh, somebody is pregnant. It's the same like with children. Children usually don't give acupuncture for the simple reason that they react too quickly. So you might uh, blow up somebody's brain, a child brain, or you might cause uh, serious uh, heat problems, or you might uh, affect health on the long term. You might uh, cause uh, retardation um, and so on. And there's all kinds of things that you normally don't do. It's the same like when somebody has cancer, you don't massage them for the simple reason that at that moment you increase blood stimulation, uh, the blood circulation. And as a result of that, uh, if uh, cancer cells are spreading out through the body, then uh, that spreads out more fast. And a large part of uh, self-cultivation is trying to learn not to fool yourself. Just typical because you do most of the time you do uh, then you have the urge to yeah you have the urge yes and a large part of uh, self cultivation is trying to learn not to fool yourself right which is very hard you have to like in in uh, the food module you try to learn not to uh, fool your taste right in uh, meditation you try to not fool your eyes and your ears and your your smell so that you see things for what they really are in your heart in like in it's a much you learn to practice in a way that you can really feel what's in your heart and how you relate to uh, things. I don't want to do pulse diagnosis, you have to learn and to separate yourself from the other person, that you don't feel your own pulse instead of the other person's pulse, mm -hmm. right? These are important things. At the moment when you when you don't do these kind of uh, trainings, then at that moment Chinese medicine indeed is maybe not the kind of medicine that you want to do, because you're continuously generating false images, right? Because you mix the image of the client with you. And that is the reason why many people who are active in healing and alternative medicine, they feel like they get the clients that belong to them. That is because they see the symptoms that they have, they don't see the symptoms that the client has. Yeah. yeah, they're mirroring, yes. So then they say like, oh, health and clients have all similar kind of problems like me. The fact that you haven't resolved your problems is a good sign already that, you know, you have to be extra careful in how you diagnose a person. Yeah, because you have to always take in consideration that your observation might be caught. Yes, it's not objective. It doesn't mean that you can't make an observation, you can't make a diagnosis, but you have to all the time take it into account. Like, for instance, if I'm teaching and I have to make a diagnosis, I have to take into account that when I talk a lot, a lot of uh, uh, heat goes up to the head. And that means that my body will indicate more quickly heat symptoms than it will indicate other things. I know that most people suffer cold symptoms, and as a result of the cold symptoms, actually they have stagnation, which causes heat. <coughs> the, the things that we have to work on primarily, right? Because like the bamboo qigong, the yoga, and so on. Mm. The yoga can be done in the classes. The, uh, the uh, well, a lot of the fast tracks they can be done online nowadays. So we don't need to spend that much time on it. And a lot of these things you have already done, only for you is then relevant. But the most thing, important thing that we have to do is massage yeah, and acupuncture. And the massage falls away in three parts. Yes, that is uh, well, uh, mobilization, that is twin arm. And there is a uh, well, oil massage. And uh, there is a uh, chair massage. The oil massage is the legs. Huh? What? The feet and legs. The oil no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm skipping for now the, the foot mm -hmm. massage. This is the one that you mean. Mm -hmm. And the foot massage I now skip. But uh, this is the basic three massages and the uh, foot massage is part of uh, partial massage. And chair massage is a partial massage. Right? So in effect, a chair massage can contain hand massage, foot massage, and so on and so forth. Yes? So chair massage is a wide subject because people are sitting, and from the sitting position some things can be done, some things cannot be done. Yes? Mm. When we do oil massage, uh, we're not going to have time, so I do that as an additional thing after. Mm. Suppress the effect of, the, of your actual food. Right? Mm. So if you eat salt in your food, of course it makes more taste, but it suppresses the actual quality of the food itself. Many vegetables, they have salt inside, yeah, so you don't really need to, uh, to add salt to it. 
<coughs> Salt only because. That would make you feel, if you want, you could try this head of a you uh, suck on it for a while, then you'll get a headache after about five minutes. Nothing. Yeah, because of the young nature, it makes things go up. You want to try it? No? Uh, because that's, that's what it is. At the moment, when you take a food substance and you need it for medical use, just tasting it is enough to have that effect. Right? So, from these kind of things, the taste is good enough. When you make a medical soup, yes, then at that moment you're busy with food. And at the moment when you make a. <coughs> Questions about this part?